growing up or throughout your journey, mm -hmm. who do you say are your biggest role models or biggest influences in your life? Uh, since your childhood, I'm very much you know, like uh, it inspired by words of Father, uh, which are from Karas. Uh, since from childhood, uh, whenever I used to have some classes for students, I until uh, this days, I used to have this, the same class for students also. So whatever he taught those students, uh, from that I get some gist of it. And I used to tell the same things for students. And also if you take, uh, when I started to make some uh, television shows or anything, I got inspired from uh, uh, just deep servos. The way he talks, the way he goes, uh, the way he addresses the issues and all. I love it. Yeah. Um, if we are talking about Vikiji Abdul Kalam or Kijas Deep Sir, what are those words, exact words or uh, exact moments in your life or from exact words from Vikiji Abdul Kalam or from if you are talking about uh, Sleep Sir, what exactly helped you? Like, what was those words you heard that helped you from both of these persons? Because both of them, Vikiji Abdul Kalam is a leader, visionary in his own field and if you talk about Sleep Sir, he's a uh, biggest star in all over India, two people from two different fields, how have they inspired you into your field? Right. So when I come to Yirkish, uh, like when he talks about particularly those uh, Agni, the, the missile series that he was leading, the failures that, I, that he has seen, like building those missiles, especially the trajectory, etc, etc, talking about those things. And also when he was uh, heading uh, the ISRO, the failures that you have seen, the handling the team, managing those things, the management. You know, you should always concentrate on macro management rather than micro management. Uh, having the, uh, handling the colleagues around you, the team around you, always pushing them. You know, it's all about by the end of the day, it's a team effort, right? So you always work in a team, you should be part of it, so you should always keep credit to it. So those things really inspire me a lot, even till today, that I always tell to the students wherever I go. I mean, it comes to an uh, so Sudeep sir is a different guy uh, who achieved different things in his own way in acting career and in the entertainment industry. So, uh, in a show that I was part of, it told me that uh, mistakes can happen by you. Human can make errors, but you need to make it correct when you are, you know, working in the future and you want not to concentrate on whatever happened in your past in your life. Just to concentrate on the future, rebuild it. Focusing on it and achieving something in future that inspired me a lot. Um, talking about your family, mm -hmm. how has family played a very pivotal role in what you are doing? Uh, basically, my father is a farmer. Uh, we used to grow some, you know, like a padding, we yeah, have a small padding field, and also we used to, or as a commercial crop, we got uh, sericulture, you know, sericulture. I don't know, not very okay. much so the saris that you're going to wear in wedding and all, those are made of the cocoons of silk wool. So we used to rear that. So basically I'm from a Hungarian family. My father is a farmer, he never gone for school or anything. Uh, but he's an innocent guy. I used to like him a lot. I got inspired from him. One thing one thing he taught me is like he always tells me where to invest, where not to invest. Uh, even though he's not uh, this thing, a little bit uh, he's a good human being. Uh, I um, always believe that, you know, humanity is bigger than any country. Uh, humanity extends beyond borders. Uh, so we should always try to serve for humanity, uplift it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I come from a very humble background. Uh, nowadays, I take care of the uh, they used to die in a little bit, a few things. Whenever I face it, uh, some criticism and all, they're always with me. Uh, yeah. Um, has agriculture ever inspired you to? We've also seen that you wanted to build roads to transport organs. Has coming from an agricultural family, uh, has it thought come to probably, you know, spread pesticides or fertilizers using drones or... That's, how, what, that's what my startup primary goal yeah, of doing how, uh, how do you think what is the future of uh, drones with agriculture? Trust me, drones are everywhere right now. Uh, starting from healthcare industry, food industry, uh, insurance, mining, agriculture, uh, defense, 
They are everywhere right now. Drones are future. One who believes and walks on them is going to get some you know, job or else is going to earn some money, whatever he wants to. So even if you, you know, without any, you know, like a proper uh, education, if you learn the piloting also, they can make up up to, you know, 30k per month easily, 30 to 40k. If you're a good pilot, you can operate Twitter and all, FPV and all. You can make up to 60k to 70k. Maybe if you get a regular work and a good pilot, you can earn up to 1, 2, 2, 3 lakh. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, have you ever felt to get back to agriculture? Like, as you know, drones is not an easy thing. You need a lot of knowledge in it. Even for the basic piloting, as you're talking, you need a sense of direction. For building drones, you need a sense of what exactly, what the components are supposed to use. Have you ever felt, this is too much for me, I will get back into agriculture or something like that? No, even today, whenever I, you know, uh, agriculture is like a meditation for me. Whenever I feel low, I just go back to my land. I started to help my father. Whenever I get feed, free time and all. Uh, so those stuff and all, it cleanizes my body and also my inner soul. So whenever I go there, I get some of the fresh air. Uh, even this campus is really cool. It's a green campus. Uh, so it inspires me. Wherever I go, you know, uh, there are trees over there, everything, swimming pool, horse riding. You know, so many stuffs are happening here. So like that, whenever I go for my village, uh, it's like, you know, um, it's a different feeling you can't explain. Uh, it's an inner happiness. It's come from inside. Yeah. Uh, 